You cut yourself? No. It's go. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. Hello. <laughs> I'm Mary. <laughs> I'm Linda. Good morning. <laughs> we were just talking before camera about uh, different things and said, get us talking and we can roll with it. <laughs> but anyway, welcome everybody. Hope that you're having a blessed day. We're, or ha we're cooking uh, chicken and rice casserole and uh, little Linda I've made chicken and rice casserole for years for the family, but this one has got a little bit of different. And when she seen one of the ingredients, she said, that's not what I'm used to eating. <laughs> and it's true. It's not the same one I've always cooked, but I'll tell you all the difference. It smells good. You yeah, got one in the oven, don't you? Yes, I got one in the oven. But first of all, Linda, first I want to get the rice cooking. You only cook rice 20 minutes. So I've got, I made me some chicken broth. Uh, and I only need uh, two cups of rice, so I'm only putting one cup. And yes, the water is cold. Uh, that's one cup of rice and two cups of water. Because you're halfing it. Okay, I am halfing it. For you members who read their, get the recipe, the recipe is what I have in the oven. It's double. So I'm only cooking half because I didn't want two full recipes. Uh, so I put one cup of rice and two cups of water, but it's actually chicken broth. Uh, I use chicken broth to cook my rice. To sometimes. give it more flavor. Yeah. Right. So I'm not putting any, any salt in this rice because of that chicken broth. So now I let this come to a boil. And when, once this rice comes to a boil, I will put the lid on it and turn it down to low and cook it 20 minutes. So now... Um, Linda, I'm going to put a little oil in that. Okay. Put about, uh, oh, probably about two tablespoons. Uh, okay. It says here, uh, fourth a cup, which is two tablespoons. I mean, I mean if I'm halfing it, <laughs> just put about two tablespoons. Maybe a little tad more. I, I guess we could have made it. That's fine. Okay, I've got, got the skillet heating up. Now, everybody ha likes different chicken whether it's dark meat, white meat, or whatever. I'm trying to be more frugal. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So I'm using what I had in my freezer. I normally would use chicken breast, but I had a huge package, five, nearly six pounds of, of, thighs. of thighs. And I said, I want to use them. I'm going to uh, wash my hands. Um, Do you, you want me to get the tongs out? Or uh, you, you can. You can. You get the tongs out because okay. we will be picking them up. They're over there, right? They're in this first drawer, yeah. Right there, the first one. Uh, this is chicken thighs. I the chicken thighs that I had what, had bone in it, and I said, "Oh no, <laughs> thank you, Linda." Um, so I took the bone off. Okay, I, I just I got my so, hands on the chicken. Would you just move that bowl for me, please, I sure Linda? Will. Um, so you cut your chicken. That's some fat. I'm not using fat. Um, if you're using chicken breast. Whatever kind of meat you're using, just <laughs> <laughs> take it off for me, please. <laughs> I'm using the Santi. How you say it? Santoco. Santoco. I think nah. I, might, I might be wrong. The Santo. Anyway, so it's it's very sharp. So I'm um, I'm going to cut some pieces. And these were kind of thin pieces, and that's what uh, I just want to cut. It doesn't matter what how size, what size. I'm just cutting it. Um, you can tell them that's what the knife is what you're going to give away today. Oh, that's oh, right. Yes. For the giveaway. I'm giving, we're giving this away today. $69 lifetime warranty and it is a, it's my favorite knife. Okay. Okay, and Mary, we're coming to a boil. Okay, thank you. Okay, turn this thing down and put the lid on it in 20 minutes. So watch this timer and it, uh, do we need to set another timer? Um, Where's your pamper chef timer? It's right there on the cabinet. Uh, the magnet on it doesn't work. Okay, well. Uh, if you can set it, you can set it. I've never got, I've never learned how to use that. Okay. So, uh, I'm just cutting this up in pieces. I started to do this prior to being on video, but I decided I would go ahead and do it. Um, Well, Mary, I wonder if your battery's out on this. I don't know, but it don't work for me. Because I use mine so, all the time. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's on 12 minutes. We need to I cook it. Eight mi okay, for um, Not ni 19 minutes. Yeah, 19. All right, I'm not going to use all this chicken because I'm hyping the recipe. So that's all I'm, that's all I'm on them. You yeah. put out some new kitchen soap too. We had to put yeah. one out. I'm gonna wash my hands empty. and then we'll put that chicken, or you can go ahead and do it, Linda, if you want put to. Put it in the um, in the oil. Okay, got so it. I'll wash my hands. And uh, it Mary, may be up hot too whoa. high. It may be up are too you, high. Um, are you seasoning this before you put oh, it? Oh, well, I'm there? supposed to put salt and pepper on that okay. chicken. I'll I'll wait and let you. I'm sorry. Do that. That's okay. Uh, I only got four pieces in here. Okay. I'll just. <laughs> I totally missed the chicken. <laughs> I cleaned my top front of my stove off yesterday and my burners were full of salt and pepper. I don't know if I did it or Mike did it where he was salt and yeah. we were salt and pepper and stuff. Okay. All right. And if you'll just kind of toss this chicken here, Linda, just okay. a little bit, just toss it around. That salt and pepper. That good? Yeah, that's about it. Right. And these, yeah, um, just dump these, it all in there. These pieces here don't have it, but maybe they'll um, mix it with this other. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Whoops, I knocked some, <laughs> splattered some stuff off. You may want to. I'm going to put a uh, lid on that. Where's my lid? Right there. I may not have that scattered out as much this as This dish is actually cooked except for the sauce that I put on it. So um, if you don't get it completely done, it's okay, but I want it near, I want it uh, pretty near done. <laughs> Matter of fact, I cooked what I cooked this morning, I did get done. I wiped that up everywhere I splattered that. You're welcome. Uh, and now I'm going to move the rice, get that out of the way. And like I said, I'm doing half. Okay, I need to wipe this counter up. Put this chicken back in the refrigerator. If you do the whole full recipe, you would be uh, putting it in a, like a 9 by 13 inch pan or deep casserole dish. Um, but I, I'll show you whenever it gets done, the full recipe. But I, I bought this uh, throwaway aluminum pan to put what I'm cooking in today because I'm letting that little Linda take it home with her. That's a nice pan. Did you get that at Sam's? I got it at um, Walmart. Oh, okay. You spray it. I sprayed it with butter, uh, butter but you can spray it with the, all, uh, any kind of but any kind of spray that you have, but. I just happened to pick that up. So that, when the rice gets done, we'll put it in the pan. Okay. All right, now, the next step is to make this cream. The full recipe calls for four ounces of cream cheese. But this is half, so this is two ounces of cream cheese, and I've got it softened. And it calls for a, a full can of cream of chicken soup but, um, like I said, I'm halfing it, so I'm putting a half a can in here. Okay. Always, that's one thing I always keep stocked in my pantry. Me too. There's lots of chicken, um, yeah. cream of chicken and chicken broth. You know, um, we was talking about uh, uh, counting our blessings. I always think of that every morning. Me every too, morning. Mary. I sure I do. I count my blessings every morning. And, um, a couple weeks ago, was it two weeks ago, Linda, or one week ago? It was a week ago Sunday. A week ago this last Sunday. Uh, we have um, something extra special to thank the Lord for. It was, too, it was too sensitive for us to talk about it before now. Mm -hmm. And um, um, y'all all know that after Linda's party, all my grandkids and kids, Carla and Linda and all the grandkids and great grandkids wanted to go to the park. The, the water, what do you call that? Hurricane Harbor. 
Hurricane Harbor. And so Linda's two boys went. And um, if you'll measure me, Linda, okay. uh, the, uh, it's supposed to be a fourth of teaspoon for a full recipe, but this is an eighth because I'm... Of each. Uh, of each. Of uh, garlic powder and garlic, uh, I mean onion powder. And we're just going to mix this up. Um, and um, so they, they all went to that um, water park and, uh, you know, um, Braden is, um, uh, you know, he's a, he's a teenage boy. So he, um, he likes to do whatever all the other teenagers do. So they all, um, when they got there, there was all the kids wanted to go to different areas. So all the adults kind of took different groups. So like we've always yeah, done. Yeah, so, so an adult would be with each group. So, of course, Braden went with the teenagers, and um, they went and up this tall ladder. I don't know how many up the end, slide, anyway, to slide down into this water. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure that Braden was thinking there would be a, a tube or something for him to get in to go into the water. But um, when he got up there, it wasn't. You can turn that up a little bit. I'm going to turn it okay. up just a tad. Um, when he got up there, there wasn't no tube. Well, you know, in teenagers, you know, they're very sensitive, and he wasn't going to tell them that, you know, he really would rather be, have an um, a inner tube. He slid off of that tall, humongous um, platform down a slide into 12-foot water. And when he went in, I don't know whether he was knocked unconscious for, for the hit, or if he panicked, but whatever, he almost drowned. He almost drowned, and I mean, it gives me chills every time I think about it. Uh, but that is something that we are still thanking the Lord for, that Absolutely. he kept his hand on Braden. Of course, you know, they got him out, and uh, he did have water in his lungs, but um, just we're just thanking the Lord that he was safe, that, that he was safe, was and uh, that it could, it could have been so much worse than what it was. And we all pray for these yes, kids every yes, day. Every yes. one of our kids, you we know, pray for them every day. You know, just freak accidents like that happen. You know, it just, um, I'm gonna put some pepper in this. I don't know okay. whether, I don't know whether I. Do what you're, okay. You wanna set that over there so that sure. maybe it won't see. Anyway, I just wanted, uh, you know, whenever you're, whenever you're um, counting your blessings, um, I think about that, you know, something that's really, I mean, I have, oh, we all have so many things to be thankful for, but that's just really fresh on my mind this morning. And, um, I don't know if it's, um, uh, if it's this way with everybody in our family or not, but from what Linda was saying this morning, I kind of think it is. We, we come through a crisis. We are all very adept at coming yeah. through a crisis. Yeah. But then when it's over, it hits you. Yeah. yeah. And it takes you a while to, to recoup from it because it's, it's, it's traumatizing. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I think Linda was, can I tell this about, yeah. you know, um, we were talking about overcoming your fears. And y'all all know that, you know, I almost cut a chunk of my finger off on that grater here that day. Now I haven't I conquered that fear yet because I haven't used it <laughs> since. But Linda was saying she was she was going to take Braden back right. because she doesn't want him growing right. up being afraid right. of of water. Right. And I am afraid of water, and yeah. I'm not afraid to. I'm not. I don't mind to admit it. I am, but but I do think it's important that yes, he, he will have to this. Uh, um, Half in this recipe would be a half a cup of sour cream, but I only have like two teaspoons left. I'm gonna go just ahead and put, put it, it in, in there. Yeah. Did you need that little um, that spatula back? Um, well, I'm just gonna since this is more than what okay. I need anyway. I'll just use this spoon. But yeah, you have to uh, whenever you have something like that happen, you have to um, uh, you have to go back and to, and. Um, and do it again to get over your feel, fears, or at least something, some portion. Linda had a, little Linda had a, a car accident. Uh, it was raining. Thank you, Linda, you throwing the trash. This? No. Okay. Um, and she had an accident while it was raining, and uh, she was scared to get back in the car. But she, what did you do, Linda? The next day I went and rented a car. 
Yeah, because she totaled. She didn't total her car, but she banked. It she, would have been. Totaled. Yeah, it it could have been uh, again. Right. This could have been a very right. different outcome because yeah. she was on the interstate and she. Right. It was during a rainstorm. She hydroplaned, and it wasn't it right by a bridge, Linda. It was I right bridge. Off the concrete three times. Yeah. And tell tell about the eighteen wheelers behind you. Yeah, so um, I hydroplaned and then I head first hit the concrete barrier, spun around, hit the other concrete barrier, and then did it again. And the 18-wheeler behind me, um, he stopped to help. And what he said was he saw that I was losing control on I-20, you know, bouncing back mm -hmm, and forth. Mm -hmm. So he merged, he, he drove in the middle of the road. So nobody would come I around know, and hit to me. hit you. It was like a guardian angel. Yeah, it was. You know, and yeah. I'll never forget his name. His yeah. name was Ricky Jones. Is that right? Yes. It's um, if y'all have never driven on I twenty, it is an extremely busy yes, it is. Uh, interstate, and there's wrecks all the time. Mm -hmm. Last week when I came here, mm -hmm. it was closed because there was. I an know. Accident. I don't like I twenty. So it's, it's very, very. Um, it's a very dangerous road, and God was certainly with Linda on you that You just day. take that out of our way right now, Linda. Um, I also knew if I didn't get back in the car, I wasn't yeah. going to get back you in have the car. To, you have to. Uh, when you uh, have something trauma like that ha happen to you, you have to conquer that fear. So uh, um, that's what Linda's going to do is take little Braden back to, um, to to some kind of water park and 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 be a little more cautious. But let him try to you know try something similar to that. I don't know if I'd try that one again or not. So uh, next week we're going to have a cheese grater. Is that what oh. <laughs> I will guarantee you I'll have a I'll have a protector on it. My hands won't get close to that sharp thing. Cause, um, but I, now I'm going to tell you all something funny. Um, I was always afraid of heights. And when Mike and I first got married, um, I was a little bit, you know, I was trying to, you know, be real brave and everything. And I did ride a roller coaster in Cincinnati. And what's the name of the park in Cincinnati? I should remember, but I don't. But for the, those of y'all who, I should remember the name of that. It's a big park, and I can't remember it. But anyway, I rode the roller coaster with him. I rode the, um, is it, what is the mountain in uh, Disney, Disney World? Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain. I rode that. Got off of that. My hair was completely down. Every bobby pin <laughs> in it came out on that ride. It was oh horrible. My <laughs> but then I got smart and I said, I ain't riding roller coasters no more. I've had my feel of them. So we, we bought season flags, uh, season passes to Six Flags two or three years in a row mm -hmm. when we lived in the Fort Worth area. It was cheap entertainment, right? And you got season passes. And uh, so Mike always, first ride he wanted to ride was roller coaster. I am not getting on that <laughs> roller coaster. And this was the double loop one, not the wooden one. I love the wooden one because it was a little bit more tame. But um, I would stand down there. He would beg me to ride it. And I would stand there and I would time it. And it went four minutes. And he got off of it. And I said, if I can't stand four minutes, I can't stand anything. And I crawl, I got on that <laughs> roller coaster and I rode Made it. Made sure he Yes, I did. <laughs> But I had to, I had to talk to myself about it. Yeah. And I knew it was only going to last four minutes. If I could last that long, then I would yeah. be okay. Now I have no idea how long it is now, but at the time <laughs> it was four minutes. Well, um, this is a uh, half a can of cream of chicken, and like I said, this is half a recipe. A half a cup of sour cream, uh, a little bit of uh, garlic powder, and a little bit of gar of uh, onion powder so this is what this is and as soon as the rice gets done we will put the rice i can take the, the aluminum pan okay now, linda. i mean yeah it is linda isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i got two lindas here and sometimes i think i've said the wrong one but that the chicken is almost done but so we, we're gonna um how are um, you gonna say the wrong linda <laughs> We have one name to know. Linda, Linda. <laughs> Little Linda. I don't know, Linda. I'm telling you. I. This is my brother Frank, my other brother Frank. <laughs> well, I, there's a sister and a daughter. <laughs> now all we need for somebody else to have another baby girl and them name them Linda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I guess we'd have to call them baby Linda. <laughs> I, I think Linda stops with us, though, don't you, Linda? I don't yeah. think I don't yeah. think there'd be another Linda in our family, but me yeah. and you <laughs> probably couldn't 
couldn't handle it. <laughs> we were talking about uh, chicken this morning, uh, about me doing the chicken thighs instead of chicken chicken breast. And Linda, uh, what did you say about the, uh, that it was a worker or something? That yeah, it was a girl, she was, it was her first job. And she said at home, they always said, do you want a thigh or a leg? She said, but she went to work for a chicken place. And um, they, people were saying, I want dark meat or I want white meat. And she thought there was black chickens and white chickens. And oh. she didn't understand how you knew the difference. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> So, um, how are we going to do our giveaway today, Mary? Um, I forgot what we said. Um, the um, start commenting. Oh, yeah. How long? How long have you been watching? Yes. How long have you been watching our videos? So, co in your comment, tell how long you've been watching us. We uh, this month will be on doing videos two years. Yes. So, if you've been watching us since July of twenty twenty then um, you'd yeah, be two just years. Just the month in the year. Just, yeah. yeah. That since how long you've been watching and that we're going to choose Random, randomly, randomly select, select someone. Select someone to give this Santua. How you say it? I, I may be pronouncing it wrong. I think it's Santoco San knife. Santoco knife. And it's, um, it's got a really good feel to it and it's a very sharp knife. I forgot to put the, uh, this is our rice. And this is I guess I'll measure it. It's supposed to be two cups. I might have cooked a little bit more. It's one that cup. Good. And that's that parboiled rice that it we is. get at Town Talk, it right? It is. It's two cups. I got a little more in there. I don't, I'm going to put the rest of it in there so I don't throw it away. Yeah, I would too. Just a little bit more. Okay. So we also want to mention... Um, um, Oh, Anyone know. that posts a picture uh, with anything that you've bought from Pinky Malls, uh, White Apron, Pink Apron, Red Kid Apron, Mama's Book, or our cookbook, post a picture and tag us on it. Um, you will be in a drawing for, a, we'll pick a random person from that to give away a prize, and that will be week after next, or, or we're going to do... Um, did we say week after I next? I think it's not next week, but the next week we're going to give that away. Okay, so, but we want to give y'all time to post pictures. Right. Go ahead and talk. I'm going to put the chicken on top of the rice. Okay, well that looks good. So uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, send us the picture and we will put it on Pinky Malls. But understand that, you know, we want to make sure that you're giving us permission. So if you send us a picture, um, you know, let us know that it's okay to post it. So you'll have two weeks to do this, and everyone that sends us a picture of you or your kid or your grandkid uh, with an apron on, uh, with a purchase of Mama's book, our cookbook, uh, then you will be in a drawing. We'll, we'll select a random winner for a drawing, and that's week after next. And y'all can start that today. And then that's for what? And that's going to be? For a mother's, for the um, gift. Yeah, I don't know what we'll give away for that. Well, we'd be Next good to week give we're away giving away that, that kids uh, set. On the kids Tuesday. bacon set. The kids bacon set will be the gift next week. Well, it'll be Tuesday. We'll give away something right. else Wednesday. Right. Right. I don't know what I'll pick to give away at our okay. house. All right. Um, um, then we'll put. That this, looks good, Mary. Then we we'll put this cream on top. <coughs> Would you check that? Um, in the oven? Yes. Yeah, I think it's ready, Linda. Okay, do you want me to take it out? You can. Just and Now, w w the way I used to cook this when the kids were little, um, I didn't put the sour cream in it. I put everything but the sour cream, and I also did not cook the chicken ahead of time. Don't back up, Mary. All right. And I, right, all I did was a cream of uh, chicken soup, and uh, I didn't cook the rice, and I didn't cook the chicken. But when you do, when you do that, you have to put uh, two cans of water in there because it, the rice, if the rice is not done. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. 
Uh, but I just decided to do it this way this time. Y'all know me, I don't cook the same thing twice, hardly. That's about all I can get off of that. So now I'm gonna put a little crust on top of this. Oh, you wanna, I think there's butter in the, in the microwave. Okay. It's, um, I did about, I did about three tablespoons of butter. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Now, the you have a special way you crush those. Yeah, don't you? I just I've already used some out of this package, but I just crush them in the package. You just crush them. It's just the easiest way in the world to crush them. Just crush them with your hands while it's still in the wrapper. Now, our mom and daddy's birthday is both on the same day. It's in July. Mm -hmm. And um, Daddy was four years older than Mama. Uh, but we're going to have a little, I'll be cooking at my mm -hmm. house that day. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a birthday cake, and we're going to do a, a special giveaway that day. Yes. Um, so uh, in honor of them, uh, because one of the main reasons we started doing this was to tell yeah. Mama's story. Right. So we're going to uh, do that on the 19th. So we've got something planned for yeah. every day that we're cooking all month. And then I'll put this butter, melted butter. Get out of a drop of that. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. And just uh, make sure that you uh, get all these crumbs uh, in the butter. And you just and you think it's not enough of butter, but you just keep just keep uh, stirring it around and mashing it around, and all the crackers will get coated. And again, it depends on what size casserole you're making of how much cr uh, crust or chicken that you uh, cook. But I um, I didn't want to cook two whole ones. Now this is a good quick meal. Yeah. Really this doesn't is like take a little crust. that long to cook it. No. If you, if you cook your, um, if you cook your um, chicken and your rice ahead of time, it's done except getting that in the uh, sauce incorporated in it. And then just pop it in the oven. And pop it in the oven 30 minutes. But now if you, if you put your meat and your rice in there, not cooked, then you want to cook it twice as long. And you have to put extra water. Now, could they do this the night before and then just cook it like, say, when they got home from work, when they got in and... You know, turn your oven on, and you know, I don't you know. do that. Or well, not? I don't know about uh, all that soak the rice. I don't know if I want the chicken. I don't, you don't think that would work. I okay, I don't think so I, I would. Just wondering, but okay. if but if you come in in a hurry, you can throw all this together really, really quick, and then put it in the oven and go about doing your whatever else you do, and, and it'll be ready in an hour. If you wasn't cooking this ahead of time, you know, cooking the meat and the rice, you just throw it all in there together. And uh, put it in the oven. Put you two more cans of, well, I, two more cans of. Um, I'll do it that. And now this goes in the oven, 350 degrees in the oven for this because it's already cooked for 30, 35 minutes. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. Okay. All right, now we we'll put this put over this there. Put this over here. I think there's some potholes in there. Isn't it? Well, it probably is, but I wasn't sure which ones to use. Yeah. Well. And I didn't want to pick up one that. Burn yourself. <laughs> Burn my hand. <laughs> now this is uh, this is what size a, the recipe on the members page makes. This is twice, twice what I made here this morning. And I'll tell you another thing I done because um, I um, you want to take a picture of this, Linda? Uh, because I was that was the chicken was bones and I didn't want to debone anymore. I didn't want to debone anymore because I tell you what, it's hard for me to debone them yeah, thighs. I, you want to get me a pot? You got a bone? So this is four thighs with the bone in it. I okay. cooked. I cooked the chicken before. It's, uh, yeah, it's got bone in it. Give me a, a knife and I will cut the meat off of it. The meat's done. I cooked the chicken before I put it in here. I knew Linda wasn't like that, but I knew she wasn't, wasn't going to be the one who eat this anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Well, I was just trying to cut that meat off the bone so you can see the meat. I 
I know Linda don't like sour cream. Do you like sour cream? I'm going to taste it's cooked. of it. It's cooked. It looks good. It smells delicious. It's just a chicken and rice casserole. Get you a spoon or a fork. You want a spoon or a fork? No, I'll get a fork. Okay. Taste it. Don't you want one? Yeah. It may not have enough pepper because I forgot to put pepper in the in the uh, sauce. She's gonna make sure she'll get no sour cream. <laughs> no, I did get some. It's real good. I don't mind something cooked in something like this. It's good. I, like I just it. don't eat sour cream. Yeah. On yeah. um, potatoes it's good. and stuff. It's good. It's really good and. Uh, it's just that and topping gives a really yeah, good buttery, good crunchy uh, yeah. taste to it. It really has a very, very good flavor. So, now this ain't it. This one. And, and it comes it. with the, that's okay, it comes with the sh uh, sleeve, is it? What sheave. You? Sheave. Comes with the sheave. I'm not going to put it on there because it's um, not clean. <laughs> we got a brand new one. <laughs> this is one I took out of the cabinet, out of my block, my knife block. Um, but we're giving this away today, and have we chosen a winner yet? Okay. Who's a winner? Oh, okay. Linda's going to sneeze. <laughs> Fran Powell, P-O-W-E. -E. Congratulations, Congratulations to Fran. Fran. We'll get this in the mail to you um, today or tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to the post office today or not, but well, it'll um, be today or tomorrow. You have an envelope, right? Yes. I'm going to the post office when I leave here. Okay. So if we can get okay. her address real quick, uh, I'll mail it today. Right. So send us your address, text it to our phone, and congratulations uh, for watching us. And um, I think she's a long time a member. I think she has. I've, I've seen a lot of has. comments from her. I hope that y'all uh, try this recipe, and like I said, you can just do different ways, and um, it's it's good. I mean, it's, I, I like it's, it. It's very good. My kids like chicken and rice, and it's different. So many um, ways that you can make chicken and rice casserole. So this was the way I made it today, and we will see y'all again. Well, I think we're gonna go down Kilgore, downtown Kilgore tomorrow. Tomorrow on on out on our out and about just to. Just walk the streets and tell you a little bit about Kilgore. So we should, uh, we, we're we shooting for 10 o'clock, right? Yeah, uh -huh. 10 o'clock. around 10 o'clock. And yeah. we're Central Time. We're Texas, East Texas. So uh, we're Central Time. So y'all make sure your little bell notifications is on so y'all know. Okay. Share our page yes. and uh, be sure to get those pictures sent in. Yes. And we love y'all. And, and don't um, forget to count your blessings. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.